Police descended on the Pewaukee condo of 56-year-old Joanne Curley nearly a year ago. Her landlord made a grisly discovery in the basement, Joanne's body in a garbage bag wrapped in a tarp. Even more disturbing, prosecutors say the man who killed her continued to live in the condo for days deciding what to do with the body. State of Wisconsin versus Adrian Thomas. 27-year-old Adrian Thomas of Hartford didn't even put up a defense, claiming he didn't remember what happened. At his sentencing, prosecutors explained they believe he'd been living for more than a week in Curly's condo in an attic without her knowledge. When she came home early from work, surprising him, he strangled her to death. I don't have the words to sufficiently describe that impact. I don't have the words to describe the anger, the sadness, and the helplessness. Thomas never confessed and spoke only one sentence in court. Nothing I can say can help what I've done, so I'd rather go without a statement. The judge and prosecutors say that lack of remorse weighs heavily on Curley's family. Joanne was the type of person that would have helped out a person like Adrian Thomas if he had asked her, um, but he never did. Um, instead, he, he took a very different route. And Nick, the judge in the case ultimately handed down an even tougher sentence than prosecutors suggested. Right, as part of the plea agreement to avoid a trial, prosecutors agreed to recommend a chance at parole after 40 years. But Chief Judge Jennifer Doro here uh, threw that out, saying that she felt he deserved life in prison without parole. Nick Bohr reporting live at the Waukesha County Courthouse. Nick, thank you.